So on to assessments and accountability. Here we'll take a look at California's assessments and accountability systems. First, we have CASP, C-A-A-S-P-P. -P. CASP is the California Assessment of Student Performance and Progress. This includes the Smarter Balance Assessments Summative and Interim for English Language Arts, Literacy, and Mathematics that is given in grades three through eight and grade 11. The California Science Tests, or CAST, C-A-S-T, that are administer students in grades five and eight and once in high school. CAST is aligned with the California Next Generation Science Standards. And to complete the assessment program, we have the California Alternate Assessments, CAAs, which are given to students with the most significant cognitive disabilities. The California Alternate Assessments, or CAAs, for English Language Arts and Mathematics are given in grades three through eight and grade 11. The California Alternate Assessments, or CAAs for Science, is in grade five, eight, and once in high school. Then we have the LPAC, the English Language Proficiency Assessments for California. The LPAC is the required state test for English language proficiency that must be given to students whose primary language is a language other than English. The LPAC tests are used to measure how well students in kindergarten through grade 12 understand English when it is not their primary language. There is an initial assessment and it's provided to students with a primary language other than English based on the home language survey, who have not taken the LPAC before and have not been classified before as an English learner. Students are given the initial assessment within 30 days of when they enroll at school. The summative assessment is an annual test used to measure the skills of the English learners. The results will help determine if the student is ready to be classified as proficient in English. Uh, it's administered in the spring between February and May until the student is reclassified as English proficient. Now on to accountability. The California School Dashboard is California's accountability and continuous improvement system and provides information about how local education agencies and schools are meeting the needs of California's diverse population based on a concise set of measures. The dashboard contains reports that display the performance of local education agencies, schools, and student groups based on a set of state and local measures to assist in identifying strength, challenges, and areas in need of improvement. The dashboard uses a status and change model to determine how students are faring on multiple measures, the indicators on the dashboard are based on the statewide priorities set out in the local control funding formula legislation. This is a sample summary of the indicators for an LEA. Note that the dials are based on data collected statewide, much of which comes from CalPADS. The local measures are self-reported by the LEA, and additional detail and student group reports are available. Here are the statewide systems we've covered and how they link with one another, starting with Opus CDS, which has information about all California schools and its links to CalPADS to specify what schools are expected to report. Then we have data that's extracted from the local student information system and special education data systems and then uploaded to CalPADS. Some data from CalPADS can be extracted out and loaded back into a local system. Seabed's aura contains the residual of aggregates that are not collected in CalPATS, like school calendars, classified staff counts, graduation requirements, and technology data. CARS is used for reporting categorical program information. Data from CARS informs CalPATS which schools are Title I, and if so, whether they are school-wide or targeted Title I. CalSAS matches data from CalPADS with certificated staff credentials held by the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing. And this is to identify potential misassignments as required by the state's ESSA, Every Student Succeeds Act plan. The statewide data matches for directly certifying students as eligible for free and reduced price meals and matching to identify students as foster youth the test operations management system so students can be digitally assessed. For the development and evaluation rubrics for their local control accountability plans, for populating the school accountability report cards, 
and the indicators and subgroups used to create the California School Dashboard.